Okay. All right. Yes, Jasina. Do you have any questions, Jasina? Burger, so I want to eat you now. Wow, yes, yes. I also like burger. Yes, and I also eat like I uh, like to eat so. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you for sharing, Jasina. All right, let us continue. Right, I mentioned just now that I'm one of the teachers, English teachers under Big Two School. All right, I'm teaching what? I'm teaching, of course, Cambridge English. Okay, okay, as we mentioned just now, right. Teacher, what's the difference between the English at my school and at your school? In my school, huh? The difference here, as you can see, hmm, I will uh, see here. This globally recognized. So when you study, when you take our course, Cambridge English, right? Huh, you can go overseas. You can study overseas as well. Huh? You can go study at United Kingdom, United States of America, overseas, okay? somewhere far away from Malaysia also. Okay? So another reason is that when you grow up, okay, when you grow up, of course, then you will need to go to university. Okay? So for example, teacher, uh, I don't want to go to the university in Malaysia. What about uh, out of Malaysia, overseas? Can if you have our certificate, if you take this course, ha, you can go to study international. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's a good thing, right? What about another one? Of course, if you grow up, you grow up, of course, then you uh, will have to work, right? So you can see here, if you know how to speak English, Cambridge English, right? So people want to work with you. Ah, see, increase here, improve your employment opportunities. All right. And of course, okay, at your school, okay, and uh, every language, you focus on the four aspects. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Cambridge also focus on four aspects here. All right, so now let me go to the next one here. All right, so at uh, your school also have different level, right? English Cambridge at our school also have their own level. For example, if you are five to seven years old, okay, then you go to starters class. What about my class? What about Miss Safi class? Miss Burger class? Uh, here, seven to nine years old. If you are seven, eight, Nine, yes, you can go to my class, movers class, okay? And then when you grow older, you can go to this class, flyers class. And then when you grow older, older, yeah, you can see here, yeah, 12 to 13 years old, much more older, you can take this class, KEP class, all right? So this is all about the Cambridge, okay? Let me start our class today. We will start with ha, storytelling. Yes. We will learn about Prince Arthur. Okay, Prince Arthur. Let me share to you about Prince Arthur. Where are you, Prince Arthur? Ah, here it is. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, All right. So let us learn about King Arthur. King Arthur, here you go. Okay, okay, let me share sound to you. All right, share sound. Okay, okay, watch, watch. King Arthur. British legends are full of stories about King Arthur. One story tells how he became King of Britain after he pulled the sword Excalibur from a large stone. The first thing he did was to build a castle, Camelot. It took five years to build. Arthur now had a home fit for a queen. He married the beautiful Lady Guinevere. Her father gave the couple a wedding present. 
a great round oak table. This was the famous round table where Arthur's brave knights, including Sir Lancelot and Sir Gawain, had a place. Arthur was a good king, but he had a terrible enemy, his nephew, Mordred. When Arthur went away on one of his adventures, Mordred took over Camelot. Arthur came home to fight for his kingdom. Both Arthur and Mordred died in the battle. Before he died, Arthur sent a knight to throw his sword Excalibur into a lake. He didn't want anyone to use the powerful sword again. The Lady of the Lake appeared from the lake, caught the sword and then disappeared under the water. Legend says that King Arthur is still sleeping in a cave under a hill, waiting to return if Britain needs him again. this impressive king. The king's name is King Arthur. Ah, he is one of the British legend. Mm. Okay, okay. So let us go through the story. This one, for reading part, reading, reading, let us read together. So British legends are full of stories about who? King Arthur. Okay, one story tells how he became king of Britain. After what? Why? I mean, how? How did he became king of Britain? He pulled a sword. Ah, the sword name is Excalibur. Okay, and, and then he became a king. Why? Because when when uh, other people tried to go and pull the sword, they couldn't do so. But King Arthur, he managed to pull the sword, oh, the Excalibur, from where? A large stone. And then, after he pulled the sword, what did he do? He built what? A castle. Wow, castle name is Camelot. Ah, but how many years he took to build a castle? Hmm, is it one minute only or two minutes only for him to build a castle? No, he took five years. Wow, that's a lot of years to build the castle, Camelot. Hmm, but why? Why he built the castle? Because he wants to make a home fit for a queen. Wow, King Arthur is very sweet. He built a castle for his queen. But who is uh, his queen? Hmm, who's the wife? Ha, this is the wife. Lady Genevieve. Ha, the beautiful Lady Genevieve. Her father... Uh, Lady Gunnar's father, the papa, gave what on uh, their wedding day? Uh, the father gave them a great round oak table. Wow. Her papa gave her a table. A great round oak table. And this is not just some simple table. It is one of the famous round table where Arthur's brave knight, huh, Sir Lancelot and Sir Gawain had a place. Wow, you can see uh, King Arthur also have his own very strong knights, Sir Lancelot and Sir Gawain. Wow, 
And you can see, is Arthur a good king or a bad king? Hmm, Jacina, can you tell me? Is King Arthur a good king or a bad king? Good king. Yes, very good, Jacina. King Arthur is a good king. He's not a bad king, but he had a terrible enemy. Hmm. But who's the enemy? His nephew. Oh no, his nephew is his enemy. Mordred. Mm -mm. Is it a good thing to hate people? Mm, Vernif, is it a good thing to hate people, Vernif? No. No, right. Mm, so this nephew, Mordred, he is not a good person. Mm, okay. And then what happened? When Arthur, when King Arthur went away on one of his adventures, okay, what happened? The nephew, dun dun dun, the nephew took over. Oh no, King Arthur's house, King Arthur castle, the Camelot. Oh no. And then when King Arthur came home to fight, Ah, after after he knows that this uh, nephew, a very bad person, attacked his home, he came home to fight for his kingdom. And then what happened? Oh no, sadly, King Arthur and his nephew Mordred died in the battle. Oh no, that's very sad. But but before he died, what happened? He sent a knight. Uh, he sent a knight to draw his sword. Ah, his medical sword, what? Right? Excalibur. He asked someone to throw it where? Into a lake. Ah, why? Why he wanted to throw this very amazing sword? Because he didn't want anyone. To use the power sword, the powerful sword again. Hmm. He didn't want anyone to misuse its amazing power. Hmm. And then what happened when the knight uh, tried to throw away the sword? Ah, a magical human, a magical thing, a magical spirit appeared from the lake. The lady of the lake appeared and caught the sword. Oh, she took the sword. She's like, okay, I'll keep it. And then she go bloop, 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 under the water. Ah, she keeps the sword. The legend says that King Arthur is still sleeping in the cave under a hill, waiting to return. If Britain needs him again, wow, he is a true king. Okay, all right. Okay, let us continue now. Let we are done with the reading part. Okay, so let me ask you a question, a little bit of question, based on what we watched a video just now and read about King Arthur. Okay, so King Arthur, right? Let me ask you, Sing, King Arthur, how? How he became a king? How does he be a king? He, mm. be, he built him lot. Mm, okay, nice try, you see. Okay, so you Sing say that King Arthur became a king after he built Camelot. Alright, so this Camelot is the castle just now, right? So let us see the text again. Okay, so you can see here, ah, he became a king, right here. He became a king, is it by building Camelot? Oh, ah, now you see first. No, he didn't become a king by building the Camelot. He first became the king when he pulled the sword. Ah, that is how. He became a king. And after he pulled the sword, boom, 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 the Excalibur rod. And after that, he built a castle, Camelot. 
for who? For his wife, Lady Genevieve. Wow, so sweet. Okay, so the answer for number one. Is it he built Camelot or he pulled a sword from a rock? You see, you see, can you, can you, tell, can you tell me the answer again? Which one you, which one you see? Yeah. Yes, very good, you see. So King Arthur, he became a king after he pulled a sword from the big rock. Mm, well done, you see. Okay, so for question number two. Camelot was a building suitable for, is it for battle? Ping, ping, ping. Wow, with sword. Ping, ping, ping. Wow. Is it for a queen? For queen, queen, queen. For oh, his queen. Okay, okay, queen C, you want to give, I want to try to give answer, queen C? Camelot was built as a building suitable for a queen. Well done, queen C. Yes, well done. So King Arthur, he built the castle, castle Camelot, right? For his queen. Oh, so sweet. Okay, now we're done with number two. Let us see number three. Ha, huh, this round table. Ah, uh, this round table, Lady Gunnabur's, uh, Gunnabur's papa, he gave it to them huh, for, for their wedding. So which one? The round table was a gift from who? From Arthur's knight, Sir Lancelot, or from Arthur, uh, for Arthur and Guinevere? Okay, who's the present for? Is it for the night? Or for Arthur and Genevieve. Let me Jessina, can you give me the answer for number three? Arthur's night. Okay, thank you for trying, Jessina. Right, let us see again the round table. Okay, who is it for? Okay, you can see here. Her father, her father, Lady Genevieve's father, he gave it to who? The couple. Oh, so who is the couple? So the couple is, you can see here, King Arthur and his wife, Lady Guinevere. Ah, so Papa, uh, Lady Guinevere Papa, uh, he gave it to uh, King Arthur and Lady Guinevere uh, as a wedding present. Ooh, well, Papa gave them a, a very big present. It's he bowl. Mm, okay. So, can uh, Jessina tell me again the answer for number three? Who is it for? It's for artists and givers. Yes, well done, Jessina. So, the table... The big, big round table was a gift from her uh, for Arthur and Guinevere. For King's Arthur and Guinevere. All right. Now, what about number four? Arthur, King's Arthur, he fought against who? Is it Sir Lancelot, his knight? Or is it his nephew, Mordred? Yes, Belle, you want to try? Arthur fought against, against Mordred. Yes, very good. So Arthur, he fought against Mordred, his evil nephew. Mm, very good, Belle. And then, and then he died, right? Kings Arthur and Mordred, both of them died. <laughs> but then, before he died, he gave the sword to who? Ah, yes, Quincy, you want to try and answer number five? He gave the sword to the lady of the lake. He gave the sword to the lady of the lake. Yes, yes. The lady of the lake. Ah, she took it. She's like, okay, let me keep it. And then, blah, 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 inside the lake. Oh, well done, Quincy. Wow. Everyone pay attention in class. Well done, well done. Okay, okay, everyone got the answer correct. So now, okay, for this one, I want you to read. Okay, I want you to read. I'll show it to you, the answer. I want you to read one by one. Okay, let me start 
with the first one. So the first one is the Excalibur, right? The Excalibur, the sword just now, right? Excalibur was Arthur's sword. Hmm. And then number two. Can someone read number two? Anyone would like to volunteer to read number two? Yes, yes, Quincy. You can try to read number two, Camelot. Camelot was the castle Arthur built and lived in. Well done. So Camelot, just now, right? The castle for the queen. <laughs> you built the castle and live in it. Hmm. Okay. And then, Queenie, can you read number three, Lady Guinevere? Lady Guinevere was the woman Arthur married and makes his queen. Well done, Queenie. So Lady Guinevere, the queen, was the woman King Arthur married. Ooh, he made her a queen. Well, wow, the queen of the kingdom. All right. So number four. Mm, can Belle beat number four, the round table? The round table was the wedding present Lady Cunevo's father gave to Arthur and Cunevo. Well done, Belle. So the round table just now right, was a present from Lady Cunevo's papa, Lady Cunevo's father. Ooh. Okay, okay. So now, num, okay, the next one. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to number five. Sir Lancelot. Okay, Jessina, can you read Sir Lancelot? Sir Lancelot was one of Arthur's brave knights. Well done. So Sir Lancelot was one of King Arthur's Brave noise. All right, well done. And then Sir Gawain, can I have Zishan to read Sir Gawain? Zishan, can you read this one? Sir Gawain was, Sir Gawain was another brave kind for a truth. All right, nice try, Zishan. Sir Gawain was another brave knight of who? Of King Arthur. Mm, well, so we have two knights, Sir Lancelot and Sir Gawain. Okay, so now we go on to the ha ha ha, the evil nephew. Can you sing? Can you read Mordred? Mordred was Arthur's nephew. Nephew and enemy. Yes, well done, you see. So, Mordred, huh, King Arthur's nephew, uh, he is also the enemy. <laughs> oh, okay, and then last but not least, of course, we have huh, the Lady of the Lake. Can Ong Junxiang read for the Lady of the Lake? Ong Junxiang, can you read the Lady of the Lake? Okay, Ong Junxiang is not here. Can Verne, uh, Berlin read the Lady of the Lake? The Lady of the Lake. Caught. Caught. Arthur's sword. Arthur's sword. And Berlin continue and to be disappeared and live up and living up living in and disappeared. Berlin disappeared. The lady disappeared under and 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 then the water. Water. Yes, very good, Berlin. All right, so everyone already right, done reading about all of this. Well done. Okay, so 
Let me show you one last time. One last time about kings or kings or the. Okay, okay. Watch together. King Arthur. British legends are full of stories about King Arthur. One story tells how he became King of Britain after he pulled the sword Excalibur from a large stone. The first thing he did was to build a castle, Camelot. It took five years to build. Arthur now had a home fit for a queen. He married the beautiful Lady Guinevere. Her father gave the couple a wedding present, a great round oak table. This was the famous round table where Arthur's brave knights, including Sir Lancelot and Sir Gawain, had a place. Arthur was a good king, but he had a terrible enemy, his nephew Mordred. When Arthur went away on one of his adventures, Mordred took over Camelot. Arthur came home to fight for his kingdom. Both Arthur and Mordred died in the battle. Before he died, Arthur sent a knight to throw his sword Excalibur into a lake. He didn't want anyone to use the powerful sword again. The Lady of the Lake appeared from the lake, caught the sword, and then disappeared under the water. Legend says that King Arthur is still sleeping in a cave under a hill, waiting to return if Britain needs him again. about King Arthur. Oh, you can see here, he is a very brave king. Okay, now let us continue to the next one. Huh? Let us learn about this part. Hmm. Let me show you first this. Okay, all right. So, of course, everyone have their own school, right? All right, so this one, you learn about the school days around the world, okay? Not only Malaysia have their own schools, but Australia, Colombia, and Russia also have their own school. So let us listen together about the school days around the world. School days around the world. In Australia, there are 200 days in a school year. The school day is from 9am to 3.30pm. The students can eat lunch at school. Primary and secondary students must wear a uniform. Their summer holidays are in December and January. In Colombia, there are two different school years. For most of the country, it is from September to June. But in the south of Colombia, the school year is from February to November. Primary and secondary school children must wear a uniform. The school year in Russia is from September to May. The school day is from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Some students in Russia have got uniforms. Some other students haven't got uniforms, but they must all wear warm clothes. 
All right. So we're done listening to this text. Okay. We are learning about right now the schools at where? Australia, Colombia, and Russia. Okay. Let us first learn about the school in Australia. There are how many days in uh, how many days in a school year in Australia? 200, 200. Hmm. And then what time? The school day is from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Hmm. Hmm. 9 a.m. Ah. Wow, so late. Ah. At my school, ah, 8 a.m. to mm, 2 p.m. Hmm. At my school. Hmm. And then the students... Oh, they can eat lunch. Oh, they have recess hour as well. They can eat lunch at their school. Okay. And then the primary. Uh, the primary, of course, from year one until year six, right? And the secondary uh, students, they must wear a uniform. Hmm. In Malaysia, we also have to wear a uniform. Okay. Uniform for government school. And then... Their summer holidays, ah, their summer holidays are in December and January. Hmm. Because in Australia they have more than one season. So their summer holidays is in December and January. Okay. That is all about Russia, Australia, Australia. Then let us learn about Colombia. Oh, in Colombia, there are Two different school years. Two different school years. For most of the country, it is from September to June. But in the south, it is from February to November. Hmm, that's a bit weird, right? They have two different school years. Hmm. And then, oh, they are the same as well uh, with us in Australia. Primary and secondary school children. Must wear a uniform. Hmm. Okay, now we already learned about Colombia. What about Russia? Huh. The school year in Russia is from September to May. Oh, Russia is a bit different. Their school year is from September to May. And then what time is their school start? The school start oh 8 30 a.m. Almost like us, almost like my school, 8 a.m. Hmm. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hmm. And then some students in Russia they have their own uniform. They have to wear uniform. But some also haven't got their uniform. Ah, even though they haven't got the uniform, but all of them must wear. Warm clothes. Why? Because Russia is not like us. Us is very like, oh so hot, sun everywhere. But in Russia, they have snow. So is snow cold or warm? Quincy, what do you think? Uh, I think it's cold. Yes, yes. Snow is very cold. That is why they need to wear warm clothes okay to warm their body up all right so if you don't understand the meaning of am and pm here so am is before noon noon is in the afternoon okay so in the morning and then pm it is afternoon afternoon all right such as 3 pm 2 pm 10 pm so that is all afternoon all right so, we done learning about the school days in different type of world. Huh? Let me show you a map. If you're not sure, teacher, I'm not sure where is Australia, where is Russia, and where is Colombia. Okay, let me show you first uh, uh, Malaysia. Bam, bam, bam. Here is Malaysia. Here. Huh? This is Malaysia. And then, oh, you can see, this is Australia. Huh? They are very close to us. Oh, they are very close to us. What about Russia? Right now, if you took a plane, they are very far from us, a bit, a bit far from us. So, huh, you can see here, they are on the cold side. 
That's why they are fools. They need to wear warm clothes, very cold. Okay? And then, what about Colombia? Okay, now we're on the plane. Bam, what so far? Wow, you can see my arrow here. So far, this is Colombia. Wow, you can see they are very far and also very small. They also like it's very small. Mm. Russia, you can see here. Boom. So big. Oh, their country so big. And Australia here. Yeah, yeah. And they're not small. And they're not big. But okay, okay. Mm. All right. So now we already learned about Colombia, Russia, and Australia. So these are their locations. Okay. Let us do a little bit of exercise. Okay, so just now I already told you about Colombia, about uh, Russia and Australia, right? So let us see number one. The school day is from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. So based on the text just now, let's see. 8.30 up here. 8.30 a.m. Pum pum. 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is where? At Russia. All right. We're done number one. Let us read question number two. So question number two. Their summer holidays are in December and January. Hmm. Which country have summer holidays in December and January? Let us see. Hmm. Summer holidays. Okay, summer holidays are in December and January. So who would like to answer number two? Can you raise uh, your hand so that you can try to answer number two? Mm, yes, Quincy. You can try to answer number two. Which country? Australia. Well done. Okay, so if you want to see here, right. Australia, their summer holidays are in December and January, right? Well done, Quincy. You got the answer correct. Correct, Australia. Okay, so now let us go to number three. Number three, primary and secondary students must wear a uniform. Well, now we have two answers here. Hmm. So, which countries have to wear uniform? Is it Australia and Colombia? Or Australia and Russia? Or Colombia and, uh, uh, Colombia or, and Russia only? Hmm. Which countries? Which two countries that needs to wear a uniform? Hmm. You see? Can you try? Number three. Colombia. And another one. Mm, okay, let us see. Is it correct? <coughs> Not really. So the answer is Australia. Okay, let me show it to you. Huh? You see? Okay, you can see here for Australia. All right, correct. They have to wear a uniform. And then for Colombia, you can see here, primary and secondary children must wear a uniform. Now, what about Russia? Oh, some students in Russia have got uniforms. Some other students haven't got uniforms. Okay, all right, you see? So, only Australia and Colombia, both primary and secondary students, must wear a uniform. Okay? Let us go to the question number four now. Hmm. Okay, for number four, there are 200 school days in a year. So, which country have 200 school days in a year? Can Jacina try for number four? Which country? Russia. Hmm, let me see whether it is Russia or not. It is not Russia, Jasina. Thank you for trying. Okay, let me give you a clue. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, Royce, Mr. Royston. 
Are you, uh, you would like to answer number four? Which country? Uh. Uh, yes, yes. Can you repeat again? Uh. Uh, 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 which one? Which one? Yes. Australia? Yes. yes. Oh, Australia. Okay, let's see. Mm. Oh, well done, Royston. Well done, Royston. It is, uh, country is Australia. They have, okay, let us see here. They are 200 days in school year for Australia. Well done, Royston. You are correct. Well done. Okay, let's continue number five. Hmm. For this one, the school year is from September to May. Hmm, who would like to try and answer number five? Uh, Queenie. Okay, Queenie, you can try. The school year yep. is from September to May. Your side. Ah, ah, which one? Which one? Yeah. Ah, yes. Let's see what it's going on. Oh, well done. You got it. The school year in Russia is from September to May. Well done. Okay, if you, you want to see here the clue, Russia here. Ha. It's from September to May. Well done. Okay, last question, this one, number six. <coughs> so this country, yeah, they have two different school years. So which country have two different school years? Yes, Chai Yushuan, can you try to answer number six? Which country? Colombia. Very good. So Colombia. Colombia, don't run away. Okay, yes, very good, Chai Yushuan. The answer is Colombia. Colombia have yes. Let me show it to you. Two different school years. Mm. Well done, well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Okay, we're done with this one. Well done. Let us go to the next question. Okay, so just now we already read about three countries, right? For the school year, we have 200 days. And for Australia, and then the school day start from 9 a.m. to uh, what time? Uh? Is it at 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. or 3.30 p.m.? Hmm. Who would like to answer this one? Mm, let me ask Quincy. Can you answer for this one? What uh, time? 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Yes, very good, Quincy. So Australia, their school start from 9 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. And then they also have to wear school uniforms. Yes. Then what about Colombia? So for Colombia, hmm, the school year from September to, hmm, let me give answer. It's fine. To June, February, or November. Okay. From September to June, or February to November. Because they have two, right? Two different uh years. You can see here two different school uh school years mm. from September to June. And then from February to November. Wow, Colombia is very special. They have two different school years. Mm. And then for this one for Russia, who would like to try uh, and give me the answer for Russia? Their school years start from September to Yes, Vernif, uh, would you like to try and answer number one, two, three, four, five? Berlin, Berlin, you want to try and answer this one? Yes. Mm, what is the answer? What, uh, what month is this? For Russia, the school year start from September until when? Until what month? Do you know Berlin? You don't know. You don't know, is it? Uh, mm. Uh, mm, yes, until when? Mm, sorry, I couldn't hear you, Berlin. Can you uh, speak louder? 
Hmm, so Berlin not sure. Hmm, can Jasina try and answer for this one? What month? September to October. September to? Mm -mm, not oh, September. it's not October. Okay, can you read Jasina? September to May. Yes, very good. Okay, so Russia, uh, Russia, the school year start from September. To me. And then what about their school? Their school end at what time? Hmm. Can I ask? Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, Queen C. Can you give me an answer for 3 this one? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yes, very good, Queen C. So, Russia, the school ends at 3 p.m. All right. And then school uniform. Only certain students have to wear it. Okay? All right. We're done with this part. We're done with this part. Let us do for this one. Huh? Grammar. Let us learn a bit about grammar. This one easy. Hmm. Okay? Let, it, let me explain to you first. So, for pronouns, we have two types. We have of a subject and object. Okay? For subject, we have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Okay? What about the object pronouns? The object pronouns, we have me, you, him, her, it, us, you, and them. Okay. All right. So, let me show it to you. So, so subject pronouns. Okay. The subject pronouns here, I, and then the object here is me. Okay. Remember like this. The you is uh, you always the same one. Okay, he, she, it, the object pronoun is him, her, it. And what about we, the plural we, the object pronoun is us. Mm. And then you, of course, always say the same. And they, the object pronoun is them. Mm. All right. Okay, uh, let me show you this one for you to understand more. So we have a clown here. And then this one, I. Ooh. I is the subject. Subject pronoun. Me. Oh, we have also me here. Me here is the object pronoun. Okay. Let me play the audio to you first. I am so funny. I Look am at me. so funny. Look at me. Mm. So the clown here is saying that he is funny. And he wants people to look at him. All right. Now let us continue. Ha! Ah, this one you can see. Wow, this pretty lady. Okay. So she, she is a subject pronoun. Okay. She is pretty. Wow. And then look at her. So her is the object pronoun. All right. Let us continue more. Ah, now we have two people here. Twins. So, they is the subject pronoun. They are twins. Look at them. Okay. Them is example for object pronouns. Okay. Let me show to you again. Okay. Remember like this. Remember that like this. Subject pronouns. I. The object is me. The subject pronoun for you always the same. Always the same. You. And subject pronouns for he, she, it. The object is him, her, it. And then plural. Plural subject. The object is us. And then you, of course. And then they. The plural they. The object pronoun is them. Let us uh, do a little bit of an exercise to try and understand more. So for this one, what do you have to do? Circle the right pronoun. Number one already done. Can you give me your pen, please? Okay. Not can you give I your pen? Ah, uh, your pen, please. Mm -mm, that one is wrong. Okay. So we use the object pronouns me here. Then what about number two? Ah, uh, number two until number five. Can you see? Try to answer two until number five. Okay. This book. This book is Linda's. Can you give it to her? Mm hmm. Her. Well done.
We go to the library on Fridays. Do you want to come with us? Well done. My dogs are great. I really like them. Very good. Don and Chris are from Australia. Hmm. They are Australian. Well done. Okay, very good, Vinci. Now, so as you can see here, this book is Linda's. Can you give it to her? Not she. Ha, we use the object pronouns here. The subject, mm -mm, cannot use the subject here. Okay, subject must be in front, okay? For the verb. All right, so let us continue number six until number 10. Yes, Jessina, can you try number six? All right, very good. Number seven. Ben, you see Gary and George. George. Doug and Gary tell them to phone. Yes, very good. Number eight. My sister and I look the same as we. Uh, which one? Which, uh, which answer? As um, are you sure it's us? Let me see. Mm -mm. Uh, yes, it is we. Okay, because we start with the subject first. We have what? Both? Both got dark hair and brown eyes. Well done. Number nine. Kala is not her. Hair. Hair. Mm -hmm. Continue. She is at the library. All right. And then number 10, Tom. Tom, please. We could. Tom plays the. The, the, the guitar. The guitar. Yes. He and is a bird. Uh, he is in a. Bed. Yes, very good. Well done, Christina. All right, well done. So as you can see now, huh? how to use subject pronoun and object pronoun. Okay, let us play a little bit of blue good for you to understand more. Let us play a little bit of blue good for you to understand more. Okay, so let me share it to you. Okay, share, 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 screen, all right. Okay, what we have to do, we need to click the link I gave in the chat box and then key in the password, okay, key in the ID here. The ID here is 85955. One, four. Eight, five, nine, five, one, four.
seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let us see the winners. Bum, bum, bum. Number one, we have Quincy. Well done, Quincy. But how many go? Wow, 1,692 go. And number two, we have what you see. You got number two, well done. And number three, we have Rose. Number four, Zishan. Number five, Lee. Number six, Berlin. Seven, Yushuan. Number eight, Oystan. Restan. And then number nine, Belle. Ten, Ong Zishan. Number 11, JC. 12, Quincy, and uh, you see, you played two times, is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So now, well done, everyone. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, okay. So uh, let me show you, uh, let me share to you some tips. Okay. So today's review is about English, uh, Cambridge English, right? So I have two class. If you want to join me, uh, you want to uh, listen to my story. Sure. Mm -hmm, yes. I want to play this game again. Mm, if you want to play this game again. Teacher, I didn't join just now. Oh, you didn't, uh, you didn't join, Queenie? Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm joining that time. I mm. already asked the, I already pressed the passcode, but mm. it's loading very long. Mm, wow, your internet may be a bit slow, a bit. Ooh, ooh, like a tortoise, eat, eat. Mm, it's okay, it's okay. All right, you can play. We can play together. Uh, when uh, you can play here, for example, on Saturday, you can come at here 2 to 3 30 p.m. Okay, on Sunday from 10 to 11 30 p.m. Uh, 30 a.m. Sorry, in the morning. Okay, so if you like to join me, Safi class, yes, we have two days. You can choose one. You, for example, I want to go on Saturday. Okay, can. At what time? 2 to 3 p.m. And then on Sunday, at what time? 10 to 11, 30. Sunday, I have school. Mm, okay, okay, then we go. Uh, you can come on Saturday. Hmm. Saturday, 2 to 3, 30 p.m. Then we can play Blue Cook together. We can learn English together again. Hmm. Okay, you can tell your mommy okay. and me that. Okay. Uh, quickly, quickly later, I'll send a link yeah, in the group so you can ask more to me later. All right? Okay. But my mom is in KL. Oh, you can uh, call mommy. Hello, mommy. Uh, uh, I would like to ask you something. Mm. You can call like that. Mm. Okay. Ask first, huh? ask your mommy first. Uh, maybe ask my sister. Yeah. Mm. Yes? Chai, you should ask. Uh, a burger. Ah, because I'm hungry. That's why. A little I eat burger. That's why. Ah, I'm eating myself. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> okay, so if you like to come to my class and play burger together with me, I will share the link later in the group. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming to my class, everyone. Can you say thank you, teacher? Can you say thank you? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, Bye. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.